Hey guys, so here we are taking a look at a Millway camber plate that has a monoball bearing in it, like most camber plates do. And uh, this camber plate has started to develop a clunking noise after about 10,000 miles. And so I'm going to zoom in here so that we can show you exactly why that is. So, if you look at the bearing, what we're going to do is we're going to jack up this wheel. And then uh, you should see that bearing press up a little bit. So, yep, there you go. You, you can see it raising up a bit. And that's showing how loose it is. Now we're going to lower the wheel, and you should see even more clearly this bearing drop back down into its housing. So that movement of the bearing moving up and down in its housing, um, that is what's causing the clunking noise. So here is a brand new bearing for this uh, top mount or camber plate. And um, the monoball here is incredibly tight. Like I can't even move this by hand. Like I can try, I'm trying to articulate it and it's not even going. So uh, this is much tighter brand new than obviously what we just saw on the car where the ball can go up and down inside of this uh, cylindrical housing. So we have the camber plate off of the strut now, and look how easily I can rotate this old bearing. Like this thing uh, is rotating without much effort at all, and you know I can do it all the way around. Reverses that new one, which you could see I couldn't get that to move with my hands at all. This one, um, there's just clearly a lot more play. And what's even funnier is I can uh, reproduce the noise uh, on the car. I can push up and down with my hand. So if you can hear that clinking noise, I'm just doing this just with my hand, just pushing up and down on the ball in this monoball. So let's talk about why these monoball bushings fail when installed in a camber plate application. Um, if you're looking at this right here, you can see this thicker outer wall, which is the monoball housing, and the inner section, which is the ball itself. So I'm going to use this uh, this uh, phone mount to demonstrate. You can see I've got a ball over here and I've got the socket and when I press this ball into the socket this can rotate and articulate uh, and so forth. And that's exactly the same way that this guy operates on. Now as we're looking at this, um, if you look at it on the side, you look at the wall housing, it's really thick uh, over here and this is really the way that these bushings are supposed to be loaded. They're supposed to be loaded to the side. Um, because when they're loaded to the side, you have the <clears throat> whole height of the housing supporting the load. When installed in a camera plate application, though, we have the uh, piston shaft going through, and as your damper moves up and down, instead of loading side to side, we're now tr transferring the load up and down. And well, if you look at you know just this housing over here, uh, this thinner wall you have this much thinner wall which has to sustain all of the load now. So that is why these guys wear out in camber plates and start making noise because um, they're not being loaded the way they were designed to and there's much less area supporting the load so those load bearing surfaces wear out sooner.